Well, we will see who's able to succeed here in game number one. CJ Entis versus SK Telecom, a battle for first place here in Champion Summer, and either one could take it. All depends on what happens in the game. So let's get in it and find out. Fengi became visible, shy W to him to get out of that. Yep. And he forced Marin's flash as well, so trading flash for flash, Definitely okay for Shy right there. They saw Bengi, and Ambition got more of a chance to farm. Ambition now level six. Can they turn it around? Mari getting low. Really low, trying to make it out. Shy, though, has a really good opportunity Where's to catch the up. Where's the ultimate. Here comes Ambition. They get the slow from the ultimate, and that's nice. enough. Shy picks up that first blood. And Marin. Might get dope here. Mad Life coming up. Shy gets under the W. Marin throws him back. Under turret. Marin flashing. Gets exhausted. A lot of damage onto Shy though in all of this. Marin still alive for now. Mad Life going through. Not quite blood through stuff. Oh, but Spades comes up. Picks up the kill, but Bengi may get a return one. He will. Wow. And right now, Faker wants a little bit of cleanup right here. Mad Life getting yep. low. Faker trying to cut him off here as Mad Life goes back to the top lane. Bengi trying to chase. Both Space and Ambition did go down. Bengi doing a lot of damage. He may not even need Faker, but Faker coming back through uh -oh. the turret. Oh man, they're so low. Shy flashing W onto Faker. Faker turns around. There's a kill for Bengi. And Faker just comes in and cleans it up easily. Wow, SKT. Like I said, first little mistake, you get punished really hard no matter who makes it. Now why CJ wanted to do that was they saw all the magic. Bang finishing his first core item. And Ambition oh, going on to Bengi a little bit. That's a lot of damage coming in from Faker. They're going to turn and get the knockup onto Bengi. Push back with that headbutt as well. Nice heal from Wolf. They Good keep ult. their jungler alive. Here comes the teleport, though, for CJ. Knocked up immediately by the Whirlwind. Bang a little bit on his own. Empress Vide cutting him off a bit. Oh, Bang, what in the world was he doing there? Now they catch Marin under turret. Not Meganar right now, so they do a lot of damage to him, too. It was going well until Bang just decided to kind of wander in there through the river. You can't position yourself like that when... Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Faker somehow <laughs> picks up Coco in the mid lane. This could go badly. Faker still has mana. Yeah, this is a lot of poke. I don't think too. CJ can do this anymore. Well, with Faker killing off Coco, it's way too dangerous. Yeah. Well, Faker really saving the day there after Bang's misstep in positioning and he could get a little bit more damage done wow almost taking out ambition in fact he may get him coming in there's the Q. can he go under turret he will gets him with the death laser takes a lot of turret damage on the way out but with wolf there to shield him he'll be just fine and try again here marin's coming oh up from the he, flank he's almost meganar as well too this could be a great flank with him and bengi marin coming in meganar acquired bengi gets a great ultimate marin focus he's going to push cj back a little bit bank on the outside there marin trying to get away space relatively untouched oh they're going to throw faker in he gets taken out nice play by cj bang on the escape right now oh. can he make it nice w over the wall bang's going to try to cleanse out of it but it's not going to be enough coco coming in with some sand soldiers as well and skt I think that they are in a good position to get this done. They're going to be in an open space. They have those sand soldiers just to yep. they can kite it out as well with a silver roll. Shy oh, setting man. up. That's right, SKT. Thinking about oh, coming they're going in. There's for a it. teleport. SK Telecom not really committing. And now CJ chasing in. There's a home guard onto Wolf there. Teleport coming down from Marin as well. Everybody gets pushed back a bit by Wolf. Marin on top of everyone, though. Can he get it out? There's a nice knockup from Wolf. Shy back onto Wolf again. I'm focusing on Wolf for some reason this fight. And SKT turning this one around now. Bang relatively unopposed. And Faker coming in just loading on tons of damage. There we go. That's why I focus on Wolf. I knew he was going to get that kill. Coco, the last man standing. But it is a perfect ace for SKT. So what wow. enabled that fight? Faker had just gotten that Lich Bane. And this has been a build that Faker really likes yeah. to use on this victor. And it gives him such a large amount of kiting presence and consistent damage with his Q over the course of the team time. I don't, oh boy. can they oh, do this, Baron? Gotta be careful there, Bengi. I think they can do it, but just barely. Faker able to tank it with his shield. Wow. SKT Close. really getting the most out of that team fight that they could. SKT. Did Coco last time invested all of his sand soldiers into poking the dragon instead of setting up a zone. Bengi's here on the flank. He's got a good position. Yeah, they're pretty grouped up right now, too. I think they're going to go in. Yeah, Bengi goes in with the ultimate. Wolf throws a whirlwind down the middle there. Mad Life trying to provide a bit of peel here. Coco on the outside. Oh nice Nar ultimate, though. And SKT, they split up CJ. And the ones they don't split up, they group up and destroy. An easy team fight win for SK Telecom.
that was exactly Man. the kind of fight that SKT yeah. had been spending this entire game looking for, getting into that choke point, Mad Life. Oh, hi. Well, and getting herded in. That's as another couple kills. Everyone goes down, but that's the choke point. That's the combo right there. Bengi lands the Agadu's embrace, and that gets chained into a gnarled, and then a... And it really, you know, it is kind of like we were expecting it was going to be, where it was relatively small things from CJ that SK Telecom was able to use to get a big edge. Here they go. CJ's going to try to fight Gravity Field, locking up a lot of people. They do catch Bengi a bit, but they're focusing on Bengi so much. What's happening to everybody else? They do get Bengi. Meanwhile, Shy gets very, very low. Mad Life a bit on his own. They're going to turn around. Faker with another kill now, and bang. Just chasing Ambition down there. Can't quite get into the base to finish him off, but with the Super Minions, this is going to be an easy turret and probably an inhibitor. Yeah. Yep, so they tunneled on Bengi. They got him, but... Yeah, CJ, I mean, a couple little desperation plays, but what do you do? You kind of have to get desperate at this point. Oh, man, they nearly just blow up Coco right there. Going after Mad Life and Ambition. Now Mad Life really low. Ultimate used by Ambition, but no follow-up. Bang, just behind the turret right now. Gets pushed out by Coco, but Bengi chasing space away. He got separated. Another kill comes in for Victor. Double kill for Coco, though. Barnes about as... to hit that Meganar, though. He's going to live through this, and there yep. we go. There's the transformation as Bengi is on turret oh, taking boy, duty, and there comes Faker running all the way through the base to close out this game. Yeah, well, that is the game right there, is a uh, kill a couple minions, and then with the minions of their own pushing in they should be able to finish this one off mad life the only one remaining is so sk telecom playing a, a pretty solid game but again it was faker well mad life coming in to try something they get the kill on marin i guess if it makes you feel better that's nice shy still mixing it up a little bit goes in on the bengi maybe he'll be able to get another kill here before faker finishes him off actually wow shy did a pretty good job of delaying but that is going to be it another double kill for faker Pile it on, and 23 to nine, the final kills. SKT takes it, GG. What a ridiculous carry performance from Faker, who ends wow. that game 13, one and six, and moves to five and zero oh all time on Victor. That'll tie him up in terms of undefeated champions with his Riven, yeah. which is also five and zero. Oh. You can't let him have Victor. You can't let him have LeBlanc. I mean, it's the list grows, right? It does indeed. So this will be interesting, especially since.